back to my channel. Um, I know this is not my office or any room I've ever filmed in, um, but I have been under the weather this week. I won't go into detail exactly what's going on, um, but I know you see the title of this video. You might all, you might just assume that I'm pregnant. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I know we're near pregnant, so that's not why I've been under the weather. I am still under the weather, but I did want to go ahead and get this up for you guys. Um, I have seen this video all over YouTube and I am obsessed. Like I cannot, I can't, I can't just express how obsessed I am about this topic. Um, babies. Like, <laughs> I love babies. I love all things baby. Um, we do want babies in the future, so it's not like we don't want any kids. Um, but I literally have like their entire lives planned out. I don't even know. I haven't even met them yet. I haven't even got pregnant with them yet and I already want to plan out everything um, I've always been a big planner I planned my wedding before I ever even started dating Cody I've had names picked forever like I have how you have like notes every time I see like a name that I like or if I'm watching a movie and I hear a name that I like I'm like ooh I'll save it in my phone and I'll just keep them and um, I had like middle name ideas for both girl and boy and um, you know first name ideas so then when me and Cody started talking about kids names he like crossed so many of them <laughs> off my list I would have never thought that he would have been that picky when it came to names we both have four letter first names so I started thinking about it and I was like how cool would it be if all of our kids first names were just four letters and I thought it was a really cool thing a little like our family tradition kind of thing so these are the names that we are not going to be using in the future we have two girl names and two boy names that we've picked out just in case we have multiples of one gender um so we have our names i love these names either he won't let me use them <laughs> or they just won't work with what we've chosen so i wanted to share those with you i have five boy names and five girl names so i'm going to do one of each and let's get started so the first boy name is reese i love reese um, they actually had somebody come in on Pretty Little Liars, if you watch Pretty Little Liars, and it was spelled differently, and it was R-H-Y-S, and I was like, oh, four letters, I want to use it. Cody shot me down. He was like, no, you always said you did not want to spell your name, your kid's name's funny, because you want them to be able to find their name if we go on vacation. You had like the little magnets and stuff. I've never been able to find my name, because as you notice, it's P-A-G-E, not P-A-I-G-E, so I've never been able to find it. Yes, I do love my my name I love being different but I also want my kids to actually be able to find their name you know on just generic items so I wasn't able to use that the next one is a girl name and it is Avery I love Avery for a little girl I love um, I guess it's co-gender or however you want to say co-ed names for little girls um, not so much for little boys um, but more so for little girls and one of my um, old classmates from hair school she just had a beautiful little girl and her name's Avery and I'd already had it picked even before then so when I seen that she named her Avery I was like oh that is use that name please somebody use the name because Cody won't let me use it he had an uncle or somebody named Avery and it was a guy and he was just like no we cannot name our little girl after a man I'm just like next little boy's name is Weston I love southern um, country names I just I just do of course we're in the south so I really really love them Cody said no um, it would have been a middle name choice to go after you know a first name that we've chosen but he said no so I gotta stick with what he said next little girl's name is Carolina sticking with the same southern I am from the Carolinas there's just something about Carolina that I like not so much Caroline but I like Carolina I feel like it's a really true southern name when I when I envision a Carolina I see a really sweet southern girl I don't know I just played the whole story out of my head so I really like that name next little boy's name is Lincoln I love Lincoln of course First thing Cody said was Abraham Lincoln, and he shot me down. He can think of anything and just shoot me down. He's like, we don't want our little kid to be picked on. I'm like, listen, I was pagey wagey, okay? Pagey wagey. I am totally fine with my name. 
But the little kids, if they want to find something to pick on, it doesn't matter what your name is. It doesn't matter if it doesn't even rhyme with anything else. They will find something. So he shot that one down. I really like it. I think it's, um, I don't want to say regal. I just feel like it's really sophisticated. But I feel like it's also Southern as well. So definitely like Lincoln. Next little girl's name is Baker. And that's also like another co-ed kind of name. Of course, you know, that's why Cody didn't like it. Um, I love it. I think it's really cute. Um, I just imagine a little girl with lots of pretty curly hair. And she's really sweet. And she might even have freckles. I don't know. It's just, I love that name. Next for a little boy is Graham. I know a lot of people in my hometown, their last name is Graham, but I really like it as a first name for a little boy. Um, once again, I think it's very, it's one of those names that I can Im imagine a baby named Graham and then like an older man named Graham. Like it's hard to imagine like a little boy with like an old man name, you know what I mean? Like I feel like it needs to fit every stage of age, if that makes any sense. I don't know. Next little girl's name is Penelope. I don't know why I like that name. It's different and it starts with a P. For some reason I'm drawn to names that starts with a P, obviously. Um, I've always liked it. I've, I've, of course it would have been a middle name choice. Cody laughed at me. <laughs> Anything that's like a little more different than usual, it's just not as, it's not as cup of tea. So um, he shot that one down early. The last little boy's name is going to be Jake. I love Jake. Um, we both love Jake. It would have been our first name choice because it is four letters. It is Southern. I do feel like you can have a baby Jake and then a big boy Jake and then a grown man Jake. I just feel like it's perfect. We just know too many Jakes and I do, like I said, I do like to be unique and I do like to be different. So I do want my children to have, you know, actual you know, normal spelled names, but I also want them to be slightly different from everybody in their class. You know, in, in my generation, there are a lot of Britneys, there are a lot of Ambers, a lot of Ashleys. I don't want that to be our daughters or sons, you know, to have to be like third, like the third person in their class to have the same name as somebody else, where they have to use their last initial to, you know, figure out who's who. I really want it to be different, so that's why we didn't go with Jake. My last girl's name is one, another one that Cody laughed at me about and it is Montana. I watched, I think it was Baggage Claim, I think was the movie, and her name was Montana. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I have to check on that. But it's like, I've never wanted to name my child after a place or a state or anything, but it was just like, every time they said it on that movie, like I was super intrigued by that name and I thought it was different. And of course, you can probably find it spelled on stuff because, hello, it's a state. But it was just, I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. Of course, he shot me down because it is a place. So he was like, nope, not doing that to our child. So there you go. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed these names that I've chosen. Definitely let me know of any name choices that you have stumbled upon in the past that you're not going to be using. Definitely comment those down below. Um, if you have actually named your kids or you know any kids that have these names or if your name or one of these names, definitely comment down below. I love meeting new people. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Once again, I'm so sorry for my appearance and the backdrop and everything, um, but I'm super, super, super. I am super comfy in my husband's old high school baseball shirt and I was not doing my makeup or my hair and I just, you know how that goes. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Definitely hit that like button if you haven't already. Please subscribe and I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day.